young teenager who's uh, 14 at, at the time when we shot it four years ago. Um, she is um, on, on the autism spectrum. She's quite low functioning. Um, and uh, within the sort of first, you know, 10 minutes of the movie, her sober drug dealing, completely irresponsible sister, which is Kate Hudson, um, becomes responsible for her. And um, and then there's the, sort of the musicals, they take place inside the character music's head. Um, and so uh, in her head, she's totally unbridled by any of the what you might call uh, disabilities. And it depends on the way you look at autism, whether you see it as an, uh, like an, a special ability or a disability. But um, in her case, she had a lot of bodily pain and tics and... Um, and she she really wanted wants to be able to express herself and can't. So in her head, she she's unbridled by all of those um, problematic parts. Before you guys even started shooting it, did you have the cast or who you wanted to play those characters in mind? Or well, when uh... I first started writing the movie. It was Jake Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal and then <laughs> um, Maggie Gyllenhaal, and they were going to be brother and sister. And then I, I then it was Shia LaBeouf and Maggie, uh, Maddie. Um, and then it was uh, 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 he couldn't get sober for long enough, and I couldn't <laughs> get him cured, and it was too, it was so hard. So then uh, then I had Jonah Hill for a second, and then I actually swapped the genders. So. Um, Kate Hudson's part was originally uh, cast for about four years. It was with Shia LaBeouf. Um, yeah. So, and but in the end, yeah, it's exactly the movie it's supposed to be. So the movie coming out sometime soon. The soundtrack you wrote the ten songs along that soundtrack, including the song "Together," mm-hmm. and uh, the music video for "Together." Did you guys sh- shoot that in one oh, straight ago. shot? Oh, yeah, it's one straight shot, and we shot it four years ago. Um, wow. Yeah, because, which is why nobody's wearing masks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and, yeah, it was um, it was part of the reshoot, so we shot it about probably 20 days after or a month or two after we'd finished, we'd wrapped the original movie because then I wrote that song, and I was like, oh, that song is perfect the end title of the movie so then we went back in and we made a music video for it um and it's the, sort of the finale of the movie and um yeah and it wasn't even in, intended necessarily for the movie but i realized after i'd written it that it was just the perfect film for the entire sort of vibe and message of the movie do you guys do you have a maybe release date for the movie just yet um, yeah guess what our release date is it's after tenet <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're going with because uh, that's what I got told. I got told so Tenet will come out. Will be the first to come out. They'll keep shifting their date. Yeah. Now. <laughs> as soon as Tenet's finished, then it's our movie is going to come out. The movie will come out. So just watch out for Tenet. Yeah. And as soon as Tenet's out, you'll know that music is coming out. Um, <laughs> And that way I don't have to keep shifting because it was August 22nd, then it was September 14th, then it was. But now I, I've learned a better way to teach um, you guys when it's coming out is just once Tenet comes out, then my movie will come out. And it's All right. A year, but I, I figure it'll come out exactly when it's supposed to. Along with the movie, the soundtrack, I heard you're working on some new music with David Guetta as well that might be out later on this year. So weird, yeah. People just asking me. I started asking me about that today. Why did he tweet something? Or why? no, no. That's that. That uh, you can yeah, thank your like, your management for that. that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, uh, yes. We wrote two songs. One I think is Blech, and one I uh, one I love, and the one I love is is the one that's going to come out soonest. Um, I think. I don't know. Who knows? Well, I wonder if people are asking about it because D- Katy Perry just came out saying that she actually passed on Titanium after she heard you singing on the demo. And Isn't she, that so she, nice? Yeah, that is, that is, I mean, that's <laughs> well, a I know, boost I, of confidence I right there. It's supposed to be on Titanium. I wrote it for Alicia Keys. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, she was supposed to be on Titanium. Then Katy passed on it. Then Mary J. Blige sang it. But then... David thinking that who doesn't want to be on a hit song or be like he just put me back on it without asking and I had just retired. (laughs) (laughs) 
And I was furious. I was so mad. And it was going to cost them like $10 million to take, take the, take my version off all of the already pressed albums. And then I felt like a jerk. So I just let them use it. But I was really mad because not only was, did I not like house music at all. Um, I was just trying to, I'd just gotten sober and I was trying to become a lady of the background, um, which I managed to now sort of do, um, just with, with wig and with, <laughs> with, with, with Maddie Fisher and just the wig and amuse. Yeah. Um, still disappear into the background, <laughs> but just have, you know, be able to still make art. And that's fun. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. <laughs> well, Sia, we thank you so much for giving us a call in. We're glad we were able to get the uh, the audio and everything to work, and we can't wait to uh, see the movie music once it's finally released and the the soundtrack when that is put out. We're loving together. So thank you so much for, for the great work that you do in the community, for the music, the videos, all of that and more. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Thanks very much. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. Have a great one. Take care.